Hello, my name is Russell Toll. In other movies, I introduced the K-armed rhombic spiralohedra. Here, I present them as approximations to ruled surfaces. The helicoid and the plane are familiar ruled surfaces. Here, a transparent four-armed spiralohedron and a helicoid seem to orbit one another. The rulings of K-armed spiralohedra are at right angles to the axes of K-fold symmetry and form a series of regular K-gons of various sizes. A plane section of a K-armed spiralohedron taken perpendicular to the axis of K-fold symmetry will give exactly such a regular K-gon if the cutting plane is at the correct depth. One can, if one wishes, construct only the regular K-gons and omit the rhombic faces altogether. Quite an interesting situation obtains if we form close packings of three- and four-armed spiralohedra using only their respective kagons, equilateral triangles and squares, respectively. We can form an array of kagonal spiralohedra, as it were, and then examine one single level of the kagons, or animate the addition of individual levels. When we do this, we find examples of uniform tilings which are not edge-to-edge, -edge, as depicted on page 74 of Grunbaum and Shepard's great book, Tilings and Patterns. These tilings involve squares of two sizes and triangles of three sizes. If there is a four-dimensional analogy to the K-armed spiralohedra, we might find that solid sections of packings in the four space give uniform tilings of polyhedra, which are not face-to-face. -face. Here we see a section of three-armed spiralohedra with triangles of three sizes. And now we add successive layers of kagons. I conclude with some five-armed spiralohedra whose kagons would be regular pentagons. I wish to thank Steve Wanner for calling my attention uh, to the figures in Grunbaum and Shepard's book. Thank you very much.